Today I'll be giving you a brief overview of Navigate 2 and the different resources found within it. Students will have the ability to purchase a new textbook, which will come with a free access code to Navigate 2, or they can purchase the digital access to Navigate 2 at a discount. Both options will come with the ebook included. The course we will be previewing today is McGonagall's Nursing Informatics and the Foundation of Knowledge, 4th edition. This is one of our many titles that are part of our curriculum solutions for nursing. And the great thing about Navigate 2 is that once you get used to using it in one title, it's going to work exactly the same for your next title. Now, this is the main page of the course, so when you first log in, you get to the Lessons tab. As you can see, by default, we have it broken out by chapters. These are very flexible. You can rename them, you can rearrange these, and you can really customize these however you want. When you come over here and select a chapter, it is going to display all the content that we added to it. So all this comes right out of the box for you. It's a turnkey solution. Students will have access to interactive lectures in nursing informatics, and these are a great way for students to go through the content of the book. Students and instructors will have access to the ebook. And there's two main ways to read the ebook. One is on the computer, like I'm showing you right now. But we also have an app called Navigate eReader that is available for students to download. And through the app, they can take the book offline. And as you can see here, the textbook looks exactly like the ebook. Within the ebook, you do have the capability of adding in notes. You can add in highlights in up to five different colors. And you can even share notes with your students if you choose to do that. We also have a table of contents, so you can jump to any section of the book right from here. We have resources built into many of our nursing titles, which include animations. And a lot of these animations will come with audio included as well. In addition to animations, we have ebook quizzes that we've added into the ebook. So these are end of chapter quizzes that are available right out of the box. These will report a grade into the grade book, and students will be able to see how they've done in the grade book and see what they've gotten right, what they got wrong, and what the correct answer is. Last thing I'll show you is you can search for keywords within the ebook. and it'll search the entire book. Once it loads up, it'll tell you how many times that word is used, gives you a, a brief preview, and if you select the preview, it's gonna highlight that word on the page for you. Coming back to the course, you'll find other content we have added into courses are flashcards. This is a way for students to test their knowledge of the glossary terms within the book, PowerPoint slides, and lecture outlines. So these are all available for your students, but you do have the capability of hiding any content if you do not want your students to see them. So if we go back to the top of the course, we have the learning tools. So this is designed for students, and it's a way for them to get the content in a different manner. So instead of seeing all the content broken out by chapter, they can see all the chapters in the ebook listed together, or they can come over here and access all the lectures. So instead of having to go through and open up 26 different topics, they can come right here and pick the lecture they want. And then we have teaching tools, and this is vital for instructors. We've added in a lot of resources that are only available to instructors that you can access right here. Students will not have access to teaching tools. So this is where we've added in instructor manuals, instructor resource guides, as well as competency maps and time on task documents. And then the next tab we have, have here are reports and grades. So if we come over here, this is where we can get access to the grader report, which is the full grade book, the user report, where you can pull up the individual grade book per student, and insights. In the grade book, you can clearly see how many students have enrolled into your course, all your gradable items that you've added into the course, and you can come in here and you can review each quiz, an assessment or midterm that you set up. And you can also set up weighted grading very easy in the grade book, so you can set it up how you need it to be.
The last thing I just want to talk about within the course is how you can set up assessments within the course. So each title will come with a question bank. These question bank questions will be separate from the ebook quizzes. So you do have the capability of coming over here to navigate to assessments and adding in your own assessments into the course. So we can really name this however we want. We can call chapter quizzes, we can set up midterm finals, everything can be done right through here. And then you have the capability of going through and setting up the settings like dates and times, time limit, and if you need to, you do have the capability of giving students additional time on test. Once we go through the settings, now we have the capability of coming in here and picking the questions we want to add to this quiz. In addition to selecting questions, you can preview a question. So you can see the full question along with the choice. As well as edit any question you want within the test bank. And you can come over here and create your own questions and add them into the test bank as well. So this has been a brief preview of Navigate 2. Thank you for joining me.